in this question this is a uniform semicircular wire and we need to find out the force acting on this small mass m due to this uniform semicircular wire of mass m and length l let us now find out first the radius of the wire pi r is equal to l therefore radius is equal to l upon pi we will use this if needed in the future now we need to find out the force on m due to this uniform semicircular wire so what we do is that we add up the forces of acting on this small mass m due to each of the small elements of the semicircular wire and then we add them vectorially so now let us analyze one thing at an angle theta suppose there is an element due to this particle a force acts on this small mass m in this direction at an equal angle theta from here this is another element which exerts a force on this small mass m in this direction these two forces being symmetrically by symmetry we can say that the resultant lies vertically upwards now similarly for each of the pair of small particles the resultant will come in the vertical direction so the final resultant force acting on the small mass m due to the uniform semicircular wire comes in the vertically upward direction so what we need to do now is that if we can integrate the y component of the forces if we take the y component of this and the y component of this we will get the final resultant vector due to each of the pairs and if we add up each of the y components we will get the final resultant force acting on the small mass m due to the uniform semicircular wire which is in the upward direction so now we do that integration as we do it always in this case whenever you have to we have to assume a small element we take a small element subtending an angle d theta at an angle theta the location of this element is at angle theta and it is subtending an angle of d theta the small mass dm of this element is equal to mass per unit length that is m upon l into r d theta that is the length of this object mass per unit length into the length of this object gives us the mass of this element that is equal to mr upon l into d theta the force exerted by this element on this small mass m is equal to g m d m upon r square but it is in the direction oriented towards the particle so we have to take the y component of this this is the x component this is the y component the y component will be equal to the parent vector into sin theta so this is the y component of the force acting on this small mass m due to this particle now we integrate this force for all such particles ranging from 0 to pi to find out the total resultant force acting on this small mass m we replace this small mass m dm by the above formula to get g m upon r square into m upon l r d theta sin theta this is equal to g m m upon r l integration 0 to pi sin theta d theta which is equal to 2 g m m upon r l now r is equal to l upon pi so this becomes 2 pi g m m upon l square so the final force acting on small mass m due to the uniform semicircular wire becomes equal to 2 pi g m m upon l square in the upper direction 